Are you ready to dive into all of the sock knitting? Get your beverage of choice, your knitting, crocheting, and let's dive in. Is that you? Thought I could hear my husband. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are November 28th and we are doing another box of socks update. Now, look, I apologize in advance because I have totally dropped the ball on this. I was supposed to record um, approximately once a month and we have been so sick with flus and colds and stomach bugs and everything that honestly, I did not have it in me. So I thought, you know what, we're just going to wait it out and we'll have even more socks to share. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episode of the Box of Socks update. Um, I go through the previous socks in a little bit more detail. I will also link um, the Ravelry project pages that I do and my designs, if there are some, down below this video. And if you haven't already, click that like and subscribe button because why not come and follow for more of this fun, fun um, adventure with me. Now, I do want to mention at the top of the episode that I do till November 30th if you are wanting to learn to knit socks. Now, this is for beginners, like really wanting to learn how to knit socks from start to finish, talking about what types of sock yarn, what to look for, um, how to knit your socks, how to do it step-by-step -step video tutorial, three different types of heels. I really walk you through all of it. I have a course on Thinkific that you can purchase. Um, it's always available. Thinkific is a platform that is a based platform that you can go and watch at your own convenience. Also, you can rewind, you can pause, you can rewatch things. Once you purchase, it's yours to keep, to refer to over and over and over again. I have some really great handouts, some cheat sheets. I also have included um, how to calculate how many stitches to cast on for your feet, all of this. Until November 30th, you can get the entire course for $59 Canadian, and after November 30th, it is going for the regular price of $99 Canadian dollars. So I've put out all of that amazing information for you in case that you wanna also learn to knit some socks. All right, let's dive in, but first up, a word from our sponsor, Create Room. Experience creativity without the clutter. No more digging through bins and boxes to find that one specific tool you need for a project. Create Room has made it their mission to combat the obstacles to creativity and help people spend more time doing what they love. Their dream box, dream cart, cubby, and so station give you the ability to organize your tools and supplies in sight and within reach. Create room for your creativity, talents, and hobbies. You deserve this. Visit createroom.com or find them on Instagram at createroom.co. Creativities awaits. Right now, my listeners save big. Using coupon code Julianne Knitter BF at checkout until the end of today, November 28th, gives you $250 off of your dream box. And if you're listening after and still want to snag that dream box and cubby, use coupon code Julianne Knitter for $100 off the dream box and Twin Stitches Designs for $50 off the cubby. I have linked all of these down below this video if you want to go and check out the sale yourself. All right, we are ready to dive in. On the last episode, episode, vlog, I'm not really sure what we're calling this, but I had completed a few pair of socks. Not a ton, just a few. And the goal for this it was to complete 12 pairs of socks for both me and my husband's for a total of 24 pairs of socks. Now, first of all, I was crazy to even think I could do this goal. I decided to start it in July and think, thought, why not try and finish 24 pairs of socks before December 25th? The goal was to have a beautiful curated box of socks 
that I could gift my husband and be like, here, here is a beautiful present from me. Um, my husband is extremely knit worthy, loves wearing his hand knits. He will wear his hand knit socks all the time. And I feel really bad because I have a ton of socks and he doesn't. So it was time to change that up. As I'm looking down and I have way more, still way more socks than he does. But I promise for the month of December, the focus on socks is going to be his. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to keep, you are going to keep me accountable. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be going over all of the ones for my box of socks as well as his and things that I have planned out before December 25th. We'll see if we can plan this. Now you may be thinking as well, like Julie, I think you're a little bit crazy to try to complete this. Now, some of these have been cranked out with my sock knitting machine. I have a Dean and Bean sock knitting machine that does like a circular tube when I cut out for heels, toes, and cuffs. So not all of these are hand knit. I will mention the ones that are, and I will mention the ones that are not. So without further ado, let's dive into my box of socks. This is just a little bit. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I really do need, need to knit more for my husband. <laughs> okay, so on the last, the last time we spoke, I had knit up this beautiful pair. I have in the Patreon group the Yarn Dyer of the Month, which is each month um, I had a select dyer custom dye a sock set for our Patreon group members. For that month, our Patreon group was able to purchase that sock set when it wasn't available to anybody else, and um, it was a lot of fun. So some of these you will hear me mention that they are from the dyer of the month. If you want to join, starting in January 2023, we are not only going to have one Dyer of the Month, but we're actually going to have two Dyers each month. And it's going to be crazy exciting. We're going to have one that's always US based, and then the other one is going to be international. So we have some Dyers from Canada, Australia, UK, Europe, France, like we have all over, which is going to be so much fun. So you definitely don't want to miss out on snagging those. Um, we're going to have one dyer for the month of December and then starting in January, two dyers a month, which is going to be, I can't wait. So this one is uh, tank tops and flip flops from Lamb Woman Knits. This was cranked out and I cut in for heels, toes and cuffs. This one was done on the last time. I want to say last podcast episode, but it wasn't a podcast. So I still don't know what to call it. That one was already done. So this is pair number one. Pair number two was also already done. This is uh, Nicole C. Mendez Christmas Cookies. And I use Knit Pick Stroll Glimmer for heels, toes, and cuffs. And this was also cranked out on my sock machine. And uh, the other one that was already knit, pair number three, was August Yarn Dyer of the Month, which was Whitney of Moon Glow. And this was her Yarn Teeny sock set. This was also cranked out. So we had three pairs already done and I was working on the fourth and I have finished it. This is Discreet Unicorn. Wow, that is beautiful and bright. <laughs> I love it. Discreet Unicorn in 80s Christmas tree. So this one we had just finished was also cranked out where I cut in for heels, toes, and cuffs. Um, this, I, the cuff, I just did a few rounds of the orange and then back into the main color. I'm going to be doing some Ravelry project pages for all of this in details of the stitch count, um, needle sizes in case I forget to mention. So this one I did a 2.25 millimeter needle. Um, afterthought heel with a little pop of color. So from the last time we had these four already knit. 
but since then we have knit a lot more. I have, this is pair number five that was hand knit. This is the watermelon socks. This was a collaboration I did with Whitney of Moonglow for our Hello Summer Sock Club. This is a neat watermelon sock set. I knit this on a 2.25 millimeter needle with a German short row heel. You can find this pattern on Ravelry. I had also completed hand knit um, April showers. This was also a pattern with Whitney and was part of the um, April showers sock set. For this one, I did a 2.25 millimeter needle and I did a heel flap and gusset. This was hand knit as well. Had a floof. You can also find this beautiful pattern on Ravelry. I love this so much. So that's pair number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pair number six. We also had, I only found one of them. I know the other one is here somewhere. We also had May flowers. So if you get the pun, April showers, May flowers. Um, this was May flowers sock set from Whitney of Moonglow, which was another pattern that I came out with. A 2.25 millimeter needle. I went up to 2.5 millimeter needle for this fun little color work section, just to give it that extra um, stretch. And this was also hand knit with a heel flap and gusset. So really, really pretty. Pair number seven. Pair number eight was um, another yarn dyer of the month. This was actually the Cozy Knitter. She was the first yarn dyer of the month. I forget the colorway, but I think it's Paradise. I think it's Paradise something. Tropical, Tropical Paradise? Tropical Paradise. So this was cranked out, um, Afterthought Heel, 2.25 millimeter needle. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. So this is the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First eight pairs. Uh, nine, this is a pair of socks that I knit for We Are Knitters and it's going to be a free pattern on their website. This is out of Murray Fine in ochre and gray. I knit this on a US 8. It's a worsted weight. And yeah, um, all knit by hand. This was with a heel flapping gusset. Again, this is going to be free on the We Are Knitters website. I will let you all know the minute it comes on. I was so honored to design a fun pattern for them. So... Really, really fun. Marie Fine is 100% merino, so these are more like a comfy, comfort home socks. This isn't meant to, you know, go in your boots and things like that. Just because there is no nylon content, it does tend to fuzz a little bit more. So these, I love wearing socks like this around the house. They're super comfy, cozy. So this is pair number nine. Pair number 10 is the scales pattern. Now, um, Scales was another pair of socks that was for the uh, Hello Summer Sock Club with Whitney of Moonglow, and this was in her mermaid fade, mermaid, mermaid sock set. So really fun texture. I did this with a 2.25 and was knit by hand. You can get this one as well on Ravelry. Pair number... 11? 11? I could only find one. Um, this was the Heat Wave pair of socks. This one was knit, again, all hand knit. I cut in for a afterthought heel. Knit on a two point, I think a 2.5, just because of the color work. I really wanted to make sure that it would fit. So this was knit on a 2.5 millimeter needle. I love this. And this was in the Desert Dreams sock set by Whitney of Moongla. 11. Pair number 12 is the 
Hocus Pocus pair of socks. Again, hand knit by hand. This is a pair of socks that I decided to um, come out with. They're my Spellbound socks um, with Whitney of Moon Glow. It's just so much fun. You get the different motifs, Hocus Pocus. I just love this pair of socks so much. Different heels. I did a afterthought heel and I knit it with a 2.25 millimeter needle, but I went up to a, no, I think I kept the same needle. Yeah. So, focus, focus. That's pair number 12. And we have more. I completed these. Now these look wonky, not on the sock blocker. So I actually did bring a sock blocker. This is home. Did I come? Home for the holidays. This is a sock set from Victoria of Vita Lifestyle. This was for her Home for the Holidays collection, and I designed this fun pair of socks for her. I knit this double stranded, which means that you hold fingering weight double. I love doing that because it creates a DK to worsted weight gauge from a fingering weight skein of yarn. And I just think it knits up so comfy cozy. I love it. I love the texture it gives. And I think I knit this either on a US 4 or a US 5. I'm not 100% sure. But you can find the pattern on Ravelry. German short row heel. And that. So that was pair number 13. Pair number 14 was also knit double stranded. This was for the Coffee House Sock Club. This was the Cinnamon Chai Latte Socks. Both of them are here. And um, yeah, it's just a really fun, simple cable texture. Knit double stranded. I really wanted this one to feel that cozy. I also did them shorter. Kind of have them like slipper socks. When I looked at them and I saw the texture and I was just like, I want these like kind of like slippery sock, like slipper, not slippery, slipper socks, house socks, comfy, like, yeah. So this would be pair number 14. Pair number 15, this was the last pattern in the um, Coffee House Sock Club collection. This was Eggnog Latte, again by Vita Lifestyle, hand knit. Um, and it has this beautiful texture with a cable, really a lot of fun. Both of them are here. It just looks a little wonky, not on the sock blockers, just because of that texture really hugs your foot. So it creates that really, really fun. So this is pair number 15. And the last, uh, no, I have one more after this. Pair number 16 was the first pattern in the Coffee House Sock Club collection. So this one was also hand knit. You could decide to do it with a beautiful color cuff, or I have this um, cabled cuff. So you could choose based on whichever one you want. This is Vita Lifestyle in the Affogato and Cold Brew sock set. Pair number 16. 16. The last pair of socks for myself is a pair I designed for the Knitter's Planner that you can get for Knitter's Planner in 2023. This is a, um, this is called the Mulberry Socks. Mulberry Gems, I think. And I knit this out of Whitney of Moonglow. I forget the color. I forget the colorway. But, um, yeah. So it has a heel flap and gusset, and obviously this was hand knit. I just love it so much. So the texture goes all around the leg and then onto the top of the foot. So when you purchase the, uh, when you purchase the Knitter's Planner for next year, this pattern is actually included in there. So I was so incredibly honored to design a pair of socks for that. 
So yes, I actually managed to knit myself a full box of socks and have a few pairs extra, which is why I feel so guilty <laughs> that I have not knit Eric as many socks. The last time we spoke for his box of socks, we had three pairs of socks. So I did start out the same way because last time I also had three pairs of socks and he had three pairs of socks, but for some odd reason, mine just went from three to like 16, 17. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is a pair of Nipic Stroll and I just did some fun stripes. This is one of my patterns. Um, this was done last time. Again, you can find some pro uh, Ravelry project pages on this. This was uh, Annie Perrin, We Don't Talk About Bruno. And I cut in for heels, toes, and cuffs with Knit Picks Hawthorne Cattail. This was cranked out. I love this colorway so much. And the last one that was done, this is Craft Nut Yarns Under the Sea in Coral Reef Sock Set. This was cranked out and I cut in for heels, toes, and cuffs and I did the fun pop of color at the top. Afterthought heel, there we go. So those were the three that were done from the last time. Um, since then, I've completed one more pair of socks. Let me show that. This uh, was Gravel Path, or no, sorry. This, that, that it's not Gravel Path, it's, um, Captain on the bridge. So it's just a super fun knit pearl texture. So just need to weave my ends. This was out of a colorway that we had for the shop from, do, do, do. what was it? Oh, Circus Tonic Handmade in the Twin Stitches Designs exclusive colorway. So this was knit by hand, heel flap and gusset. And I just love it so this is pair number four for my hubby putting that aside pair number four pair number five i just i had completed this earlier this year and i put it aside and i forgot about it this was a dire of the month this was tia's terrific thread if you're happy and you know it i think it was The only problem is my husband said that the legs aren't as tall as he would like them to be. My husband likes the legs of his socks a minimum of six and a half inches to seven inches before starting the heel. So he loves a ridiculously long leg on his socks. It's just the way he likes to wear them. So when I knit this one, this is like five-ish inches he wasn't impressed <laughs> so we'll see I am still going to add it in his box and if he really doesn't want to wear it then I'll gift it to somebody else but technically can you hear that that's a plane any months later okay they're done this is pair number five for my husband Pair number six, I am currently working on. I had finished the first one. I'm going to put it on a sock blocker. This was cranked out, and this is my Scraptastic socks. This is actually Felici, Knit Picks Felici, that you use up a little bit, and then you just use a tonal. So I cranked out the last one, and now I just need to cut in for the heel and continue to the foot and just put the toe. Like, this is ridiculous. And this would be pair number... I thought this was seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this would be pair number six. And this can be easily done within the next day or so. So this will be pair number six for my husband. Not doing bad, friends. We're not doing bad because technically I finished my box of socks and Eric only has six pairs of socks left. And this like is going to be done. I'm going to even keep this out. I'm going to keep it out. Okay, so that is everything that I have finished and I have knit up in what is on the needles. I'm saying that's on the needles because it, it will be. It will be. You will be knit. It will be knit. 
uh, since the last podcast, I, podcast, why do I keep saying podcast? I have cranked out a little bit more yarn on my sock machine because we are coming very close to the month of December and we need some holiday socks. And I wanted to knit up a pair of socks for both me and my husband. So this is a beautiful yarn from Hobie. I actually have a skein right here. This is their Christmas Sock Wool 75% Superwash Wool 25% Poly Made in the colorway 6. Literally, it's colorway number 6. And um, it knits up like this. It's so pretty. I almost used up the entire ball. And these are going to make some beautiful socks. It's, it feels very um, woolly. Uh, like Opal and Regia. Very, and you know they're going to be hard wearing and they are going to last. And I'm thinking of finding like a deep red or a deep green to do the heels, toes, and cuffs with it. So this is going to be a pair for my husband and hopefully a pair for myself, but at least I'm getting a pair for Eric. The next pair of socks that I'm going to also be knitting for Eric, um, Jess of Mama Jess was so sweet and kind and sent over a skein of her. Do I have the tag here? I do. Vintage Christmas uh, with some mini skeins. So this was a sock set that Mama Jess had in her shop. I would definitely check out her shop in case that she still has some because it knits up beautifully. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm really, really happy with that one. And she sent over these three minis. So for Eric's pair, I might just use these two. And then when I'm doing my pair, I'll add in the pink. But I just love how that knit up. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to be doing a pair of socks for Eric out of this one and that one. So that should bring me to pair seven and eight. We're getting there. And then the last sock set that I have cranked out is Winnie and Joe Fiber Company. This is in the gingerbread set. These were, um, this one and this one were sock sets that I really wanted to knit up for the box of socks, I'm really happy. This one has a little bit of a pooling effect. Um, so it's kind of a gingerbread -y. And it came with a beautiful deep, deep purple as the mini, which I am thinking of also trying to find a brown, which I should be able to find in my stash a deep brown to also have for the heels, toes, and cuffs. So this one will also be a pair for my hubby. So technically, technically speaking, I should get at least nine pairs of socks done for Eric. We still have time. We still have time. I could potentially get more because I am also going to be knitting up um, two two or three advent skeins for socks and I could make them in his size if I was very nice. It's just he, he, he wants the longest legs possible and I'm like I just want to finish the pair of socks. I don't want to knit to seven to eight inches for a leg. Yeah we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah that's all the box of socks updates. I just want to say a huge thank you if you made it this far. And if you did, I'm going to be having a giveaway. So the last time we chatted, I was giving away a skein of Hobie as well as a fun needle um, thing. So I will put the winner right here. And if you can please send me an email at twinstitchesdesigns3 at gmail.com. I will get that sent out to you as soon as I possibly can. Now let's do a fun giveaway. For this giveaway, I am going to be giving away four skeins of Knit Picks. Felici in their worsted weight. So we have this one, which is Bookshop. Each of these skeins are 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon and are 218 yards per 100 grams. And they are self-striping yarn. 
you have one skein of Zen and two skeins of Bayou. To enter in this giveaway, just comment down below the video and um, you'll automatically be entered to win. And I will pick a winner on the next time that we chat, but you can win these four beautiful skeins of Felici Worsted. I really love it. And if you're not sure on what to do with the Felici Worsted, you can make some worsted weight socks, you can make hats and mittens and scarves. It's, you can make anything with these beautiful skeins of yarn. So thank you so much to everybody who watched. I really appreciate it. And please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button so I know what type of content you like. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and join the sock knitting class. Buy the sock knitting class before the price goes up because you can get it for $40 off Canadian. Thank you so much, friends. And I hope you have a wonderful and fantastic day and happy knitting wherever you are.